Okay. How does the Earth's rotation help us get a spacecraft into orbit? Let's consider that we're launching our spacecraft from Cape Canaveral here in Florida. And we want to get into a low Earth orbit, which requires a velocity of 7.8 kilometers per second, a very large speed. The fact that the Earth is rotating means that we actually gain a little speed from that rotation. And in fact, launching from the latitude of Cape Canaveral at 28 and a half degrees, we pick up 409 meters per second, an extra kick to help us get our spacecraft into orbit. So let's look at this in more detail at the blackboard. Let's consider the speed that we need to get a spacecraft into circular orbit. The equation for the circular speed is the square root of mu over r. And if we plug in some numbers to this equation, we have the square root of and we put in for mu the planetary constant for the Earth of 3.986 times 10 to the fifth kilometers cubed per second squared. And if I use an altitude of about 176 kilometers uh, for our low Earth orbit, then the total distance from the center of the Earth is about 6,554 kilometers. Notice that the kilometers will cancel one of the kilometers here, so we have kilometers squared per second squared, and the answer turns out to be 7.80 kilometers per second after taking the square root. Now let's see what happens when we launch from a rotating Earth. If we launched from the equator, we gain a speed from the fact that the Earth is rotating of 0 0.465 kilometers per second. Now, in more practical cases, we usually end up launching from, say, Cape Canaveral, and we need to get a speed that will put us in circular orbit by, by being at 28 and a half degrees latitude. The rotational speed that we get from the Earth is a little bit less, and so it becomes this number, 0 0.465 times the cosine of the latitude, which for Cape Canaveral is 28 and a half degrees. Multiplying this out, we get 0 0.409 kilometers per second. And so our total delta V that we need to get into orbit is 7.8 minus 0 0.41 or 7.39 kilometers per second. So we have a considerable savings from this free ride that we get on the Earth which adds to the speed we need to attain orbital velocity.